Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a table in Microsoft Access 2016. Now before I start off, let me tell you that table is the heart of my database. The reason being it contains all the records for our database which will be requiring while creating a form or while creating a report. So we will make sure that we do not make any kind of errors or any kind of mistake while creating this particular table. Now in my this slide you can see that it is showing you the process how to create a table. So in order to create a new table, firstly I'll start off right from the scratch, I'll move to the file tab and I'll create a new database. The moment you click on new database, by default it will create a sample database. If you will like to rename it, you can simply rename it by typing the desired name you want to. Now the next thing you would like to do is we will first before creating the table we will create the structure of the table and that we can do under the design view. As we have discussed it earlier as well that uh, we have two basic view that is a design view and a data sheet view. A design view is used when I want to create the structure of my table. So this is what my design view will look like in which I will be having now out here in this particular table I have all the field list which I will be requiring so let us take for an example that we are creating a table for the customers like what are the different customers that we are dealing with. So out here I will be having a customer ID that will be a unique record then we have the first name last name and city. We will also define the data types that they are there out here for customer ID the database the data type that we have selected is a number for first name it's short text and for last name we have short text and city also we have a short text. We will have a better understanding how to create this table and how to define the data types in our practical approach. So in order to create a new table, I need to go to the new tab and under the new tab, I'll select a blank database. All right. So by default, it is already creating a table. As you can see on the left hand side of my screen, it is create it has already created a table, right? And out here I can add the list entries. I will select the field and I can make the changes accordingly. But I would like to start the table straight from the scratch. So I will move to the create tab and under create tab, I will say I'll start selecting the table or I'll create the table using the table design. All right. So the moment I'll click on table design, let me minimize this navigation pane. Now the moment I click on uh, table design, it is creating a new tab and we can create a new table out here by mentioning the field name and the data type which is to be used. So out here, I'm going to create a card database where we will be entering the card name, the model, the size, number of uh, horsepower and the rest of the details. So in order to do that, I'll start off with the car ID first. So I'll mention it as car ID and the data type out here, it would be auto number as every time I would like to give it a new number altogether. So it will automatically generate a number that is one, two, three, four. Also, I have to make sure that it does not create duplicate. As you can see, it is indexed to create duplicate. Okay, but I do not want it to create any duplicate. The car ID should be unique. So in order to make it unique, I need to assign a primary key to it. So how I do that, it's quite simple. I will simply go to this box right now and I will simply right click and select a primary key. So that means now this value will be a unique value. It cannot be duplicated. As you can see index, it says no duplicates. The next thing I would like to type in is the manufacturer of this. All right. So I'll type manufacturer and out here, the data type out here, it would be short text by default. Okay. I will, uh, if I go under the properties, field properties tab, it says the field size is 255. I do not require 255 characters. Let's just make it till 25 because my car name won't exceed more than 25 characters. Also, I will give it a validation rule that it is not a null, like it should not be kept blank. So I'm typing this as not a null and I should give a message that you must enter, you must enter the manufacturer so I have given the message I have given the validation rule and if it does not follow it will give out this particular message so it's done the next thing I would like to add is the model what is the model number and out here it would be again a short text so I'll mention this as a short text perfect again I'll make it till 25 
and also it it won't be a null set as well so i'll give it a validation rule that is not null and you must enter the model number all right so right i have given the validation text and the validation rule all right now the next thing i would like to see is the engine capacity i want to know the engine capacity for each and every car so i'll mention this as engine capacity out here and i'll mention this as engine capacity all right uh, and it should be a number this time because i do not require any kind of text out here I will be requiring a number so let's say give it a number I'm given the data type as number alright and also I have to make sure that the default value is zero and the validation rule is that it should be greater than let's say 100 because no no car can be you know less than 100 cc and I will give it the text as well it should be greater than it should be greater greater than 100 all right this is the validation text that i have mentioned the next thing which i would like to see is the price right the price i will mention is the price of this model and it will be again a number or more of a i can say that i can give it a currency so that i get the exact details the price with the proper currency that we guys are using also the validation rule I need to mention out here that it should be greater than let's say 2000 it should be greater than 2000 and I need to mention a value as in the validation text must be greater than 2000 alright this will be the validation rule the next thing which we'd like to see out here is my hybrid whether this car is hybrid or not so I will mention this as hybrid and this time let's say the validation rule out here it should be uh, you can get a checkbox like yes or no so I will select this particular checkbox which says yes or no there is no chance of creating a duplicate because it will just be a tick mark right so I'll just mention it like this and I'll leave it the next thing which we'd like to see is the number of seats so I'm num mentioning that whether it's a two-seater or a four-seater or the rest of it like it can be two-seater four-seater five-seater or a seven-seater so it, in order to do that I will select and this time I will go up to the lookup wizard because I want to create my own drop-down out here right we'll create a drop-down menu so that the client uh, the employee selects the proper selection right so I will type in my own values right the next thing it is asking me what are the values that you'd like to include so I say it should be 2 tab comma 4 then we have 5 and then we have 7 all right so this is how it is done I'll move to the next tab let's say it's asking me two things with whether you want to allow a, a multiple values no I don't want the multiple values to be there so it needs to limit to the list I do not want any other value apart from the list so I'll say limit to the list and I simply hit on finish all right so now it will give me the validation as a short text but it will give me a drop down accordingly all right so this was about this so I have created the design of the table now let's go and save this table right so I need to give it a name let's say go I will simply right click on this tab and say save or I can save it from the home tab as well so I'll click on save it is asking me the name of the table let's say car database right so I say car database a random name it can be anything you want to I simply hit ok now you can see it is known as car database out here perfect right so moving on and I'll just simply ok so I have given everything I have given the rest of the details right so I just need to completely close this now I have given the design everything else is done so let's go and if you can go in the navigation pane out here in the navigation pane I can see uh, there is this car design uh, the database is ready now this is the layout of this my table now I can enter the manufacturer and rest of the details so let's go and put in some details and see whether my validation is working or my design is working or not so this is new by default I say give it the name as Audi I can start with any right so by default it is taking the number as one 
the capa the model it should be like a1 like something of that sort the capacity as we have mentioned it it should be greater than 5000 right so i'm sorry it should be greater than 100 so if i try to enter any value let's let's say 10 and if i'm try to move on it says that it should be greater than 100 so let's give it the engine capacity let's say it should be 1500 uh, the value we have given it a database that it should be greater than 1000 that's right let's see if i try to enter a lesser value it says it should be greater than 2000 i'm sorry it should be greater than 2000 so i'll mention it like 10000 right the moment i hit enter it, it is mentioning the price as dollar right and the next thing whether it's hybrid or not hybrid so i need to mention that as well so i'll go here and click so as of now a1 is not hybrid so that's the reason i'm not checking it out and the next thing which you like to see is whether it's a two-seater or a four-seater i'll select the database that is the four-seater normal right i can only select as we have given a validation that only these things can be selected nothing else can be selected all right so i say it's a four-seater and that's it if you can see automatically it has taken this table and if i move on to the next entry let's say try to do something else this time we'll take a bmw and this is a z1 series the engine capacity is 2000 that's absolutely right let's take the 15000 yes it will accept the value yes it is hybrid and this time it will be a five seater right absolutely perfect so the table is absolutely working fine so guys uh, this is how you can basically create a table in microsoft access 2016 and uh, you can create this table from the uh, table design where i can give the field name the validation rules accordingly the way i want to all right so this is all for this video